Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How was your day? So good. <laughs> Great. Thank you. And you? <laughs> fine, fine. Well, a bit different today because I had to spend most of the time going to a clinic with my with my uh, youngest son, just to find out that he is fine. <laughs> the thing is that he he suffered from COVID uh, about three or four weeks ago, and since Sunday he is bleeding, and I don't know if it's a side effect or. What is what is this? So I had to go with him to check with the because he already had bled um, three times, so it's too much now. If it was only once, it's okay, but three times I don't like it. Well, now let's see how many people, 12, and we are about 26. We are going to wait a little bit more. Now, somebody to tell me how was your day, what you have been doing during the day? Edwin Vladimir, how was your day? You don't have a microphone? Good evening, teacher. Ah, good evening. Okay. I cannot hear you. You have to set up it. Okay, and what about, who wants to tell me about their, uh, their daily routine? I guess that most of you work, yes or no? What do you do for a living? That means what's your job? Are you only students or some of you work? Me work. What do you do for a living? Living my work. What's your job? Uh -huh. Or sorry, uh, I am. I work uh, at Ministerio de Hacienda. Oh, really? Uh -huh. <laughs> Say hello. Uh, Say hello to Larry. the minister. Uh -huh. I love him. <laughs> I'm, I like the way he is behaving. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Para making, <laughs> making, making the people who don't want to pay their taxes had to pay them. Me too. <laughs> I love that. I love that. And, and that's what we need. And um, I, I would like uh, uh, the, the assembly so the Congress it could make a change on the law of, of the uh, uh, in, in the payroll they they ask only the, the there is a roof 
for for uh, the security the ISSS. They only call, uh, they only uh, charge it as everybody is uh, uh, owing uh, 350 or something like that. And there are a lot of people that uh, earns 700 or even 1,000, 2,000. And all that people pays as they only own uh, earn uh, 350. That's stupid. Because they, they may say, but we will have too much money. Yes, that exists, that excess of money can be used to help the people that has no job or to help the people that uh, do not do not uh, pay insurance because they they they, they uh, earn too little so for me they should uh, rise that roof that's one of the things i want the congress to change i know that the people that earns more will kill me but i don't care because that's why in the developed countries uh, had a better, a better insurance uh, for everybody. For example, in Canada, everybody pays their taxes, but nobody pays for medical care. Everything is for free. The medicines, the treatments, the doctors, whatever they have to, there are just little things that they are not covered, but most of the treatments are covered uh, by the government. But because everybody pays taxes. So we should increase that. And I will go for that. Yes. I, I have the privilege, how do you say? Privilege, privilege, privilege. Uh -huh. uh, to visit uh, Korea del Sur uh, oh, really? three years, three uh, years ago, ago, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's a, a beautiful country mm -hmm. uh, because it's very development uh, country, yes, but... and and the people are very uh, identified mm -hmm. with uh, her their government mm -hmm. and they say only we can uh, step uh, more than other uh, see, uh, countries because uh, we pay our tax taxes. Yes. Uh, uh, but uh, the, the, the thing, uh, I, I understand the people that don't like to pay taxes when the governments are thieves, okay? But nowadays that we are uh, seeing that our taxes are really working for ourselves, is the time to change that, okay? So for me, everybody has to pay and the people who has more has to pay more. Okay, in order to, with that excess of, of money, we can help the others and everybody will be more uh, equal, okay? There are people that can spend a thousand dollars a day and they won't finish their wealthy. And there are people that do not even have three dollars a day, so it's not it's not good. Well, now let's just stop to talk about <laughs> politics. <laughs> but please tell that man that I really I really look up 
look at here, him. Okay, I, uh, I admire Nayib Bukele and I admire your, your minister. He's, he is the guy. <laughs> I like the way they behave. Okay. Now, by education, I mean an all round drawing of the best in child and man in body, mind and spirit. He's talking that the man or the child is body, mind and spirit. And we had to get all together as a child because remember children are very, most of the children are very nice. Even if you act bad at them sometimes, they truly forgive you. Most of the children are very, very kind in that way because you may be bad one day with them and they forget and forgive. And they, for them, there are no uh, differences between races. They, they learn to, bear, to be racist as they are growing. But when they are little children, they can play together Chinese people, black people, and Latin American people. They can play all together and they don't care about uh, races, okay? And that could be a very nice way because if everybody could be like a child, the world will be a better place to live in, okay? Now, lesson objective. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as statements, okay? Hello everyone and welcome to the free intermediate course. This is section one. Please call me Beth. This lesson participants will learn how to introduce themselves and others by listening to a conversation between two people. Wait. Who just... uh, this is number one. Oh, sorry. I forgot to put number two here. I had two computers. And in this one, I have lesson two, but in this one, I have lesson one, but now change. Okay. Hi, everyone. Welcome to section two. How do you spend your day? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as statements. Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. OK. Again. Hi everyone, welcome to section two. How do you spend your day? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as a statement. Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. 
I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Okay, now repeat after me. Where do you work, Andrea? Where do you Where? work, Andrea? Where do you Where work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. I work at I work 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 work. Oh, really? What do you do there? Really? Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guy. I'm a guy. I'm a guy. I'm a guy. I take people on tours to countries in South America. I take people to Peru. Like Peru. Like Peru. How interesting. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? And what, and what do you do? do? I'm a student. I'm a student. I'm a student. And I have a part-time job too. And I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? Oh, where do you work? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. In a fast, In a fast, fast food, food restaurant. restaurant. Which restaurant? Which, Which restaurant? restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. Okay. Now, as always, volunteers. Okay, Andrea and Jessica. Andrea first and Jessica second. Okay. Me hubiera dejado Andrea, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Jessica, you first and then Andrea is Andrea. <laughs> okay. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guy. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I am a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Okay, thank you very much. Now, Elizabeth del Carmen and Sofia. Where do you work, Andrea? I work on Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm dying. I take a people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. <clears throat> yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I am a student. I have a part-time job too. Oh, uh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? <clears throat> Hamburger Heaven. Okay, thank you very much. Now, other two volunteers, please. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. And who else? Juan Carlos. Okay. Jason. Okay. Edwin and Juan Carlos. Okay. Uh, where do you work? And, uh, Edwin. I, I work. Where do you work, Edwin? 
<laughs> I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I guy. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. Oh, interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do what do you do? I am a student, and I have a part time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which uh, restaurant? Which, uh, hamburger okay. heading. <laughs> sure. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> Now, other two volunteers, please. Okay, Jessica and Natalie. Jessica, you first, and Natalie, then Andrea. Okay, where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guy. I take people on tours to countries in South America like Peru. How oh, interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Kevin. Okay, Heaven. Thank you very much. Now, uh, Rafael Cruz and Giselle. Rafael? Where do you? Where do you do, no, where, where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you, what do you do there? I'm a guy. I take people on tours to countries in South, South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I am a student and I have a part-time too. Part-time job. Part-time oh. job. Part-time job. Okay. You forgot to eat again. <laughs> I am a student. I have a part-time job, too. Okay, thank you. Now, you said. Oh, where do you work? In fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburg Heaven. Hamburger. Hamburger Heaven. Okay, thank you very much. Now, Ruth Abigail, and who else? And Ana Margarita, okay, go ahead. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Ustral. Oh, really? What do you do there? Um, I do a day people on store the countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes. It's great. How I love it. It was the Jew. I am student and I have a part-time job. 
Oh. Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. With a restaurant. Hamburger heaven. Okay, thank you very much. Other two volunteers? Eh, yo creo, ¿cómo se pronuncia restaurant? La pronunciación. Restaurant. Mm, ah, ok. Ok. And interesting. Interesting. In South America. South South America. When we when we uh, pronounce th as a z is the tone between the teeth. South South. Okay. O sea, la lengua tiene que estar en medio de los, de, tanto de los dientes de arriba como los de abajo. Eh, en nuestro problema como salvadoreños es de que nosotros no pronunciamos la Z. Entonces, ese sonido se nos es difícil hacerlo porque no estamos acostumbrados. Es más, si usted escucha a un salvadoreño diciendo zapato, se pone a reír. Porque usted está acostumbrado a oír zapato, como que fuera sapo, ¿verdad? Y no a que decir zapato, ¿verdad? No, a, a decir corazón. O sea, si, si alguien dice corazón, usted se ataca del chiste, ¿verdad? Porque, <ríe> porque no estamos acostumbrados. Es más, la S de los salvadoreños tendemos a pronunciarla más como una J que como una S. ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, ese problema se nos dificulta a la hora de, de querer aprender otro idioma donde esos sonidos sí son importantes, ¿verdad? Pero por eso tenemos que practicar más. Ok, now, Katia and Louis. Where do you work, Andrea? No se le oye, no, no lo ha quitado el mute. Sorry, okay. I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Okay. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to country in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it is a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a study a student, and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Okay, okay thank you very much. I guess that uh, is anyone there that wants to to practice. Any more volunteers? No more volunteers then. Oh, okay, Monica. Monica and Emma, go ahead. Where do you work? Andrea? Okay. I work at Thomas Good Travel. Oh, really? Monica? Eh, 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 the other, the other classmate has problems with the, with the, with the internet connection. So you, when you think she already finished, continue. Ok, ¿ya me escuchan? Much better. Ok. Ok. Oh, really? What do you do there? Excellent. I'm a guide. I take people on tour 
two countries in South America, like mm -hmm. Peru. How oh, interesting. Yes, it is a real job. I love it. And what do you do? And I student uh, I have... so Okay. Oh. oh, where did you where did you work? Um for... Which restaurant? Okay, hamburger heaven. Okay, let me tell you something about uh, this uh, this work. Uh, both works have certain uh, special things. For example. Uh, about cook travel. The guides, for me, I, I would like to be a guide because they travel in an airplane and they don't pay for it. They are getting paid to travel, okay? And all they want, they have to do is have contacts in the places where they go and study history because they, they, they need to know about geography. They need to know about history of the, the places that they are going to go. Uh, but it's a very nice job because you get paid and you travel and your the company pays for every for all your expenses and besides they are paying you <laughs> to to develop your job a very nice job and about the other job the good thing is that when you work in a restaurant you may eat whatever is in the menu from the restaurant unless uh, they decide to to have different food for for the for the um, staff that work there because my son my son he he studies to become a, a chef and he works in one of the best uh, restaurants here but uh, for his social hours. The funny thing is that everybody, uh, the, some of his, some of his, well, one of his teachers, when he know that my son was, uh, is, is going to go to, to, to that place to work, he think that he, he couldn't make it. And he uh, earns or, or got, 55 because they had to they had to to grade his development at, at, at the restaurant and they grade him with uh, with nine, uh, 95 it one of the highest scores that they have ever given to to a, to a student and she is the best gourmet restaurant here in Panama because she, uh, the, the owner of that restaurant is the one that provides the food for uh, um, the papa when the papa when the pop was here in Panama she was the one in charge to to uh, to uh, give the food for uh, to, for him and also when when the president it gets the president gets into the presidency she was the one who serves the 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 food for the celebration okay so she is one of the best uh, 
gourmet chef here in Panama. And my son worked there. So I'm proud of him. <laughs> and you, when, when I went, one day when I went to, to pick him, uh, I present myself to, to her because she is a celebrity here. And she said, oh, you are Sammy Mothers. Oh, he's lovely. But she changed her, her face. She was so happy to talk about my son because they love him. <laughs> I hope that she can give him a good job there. Now that he already has his, his diploma, his, his degree, I hope that she can give him uh, an opportunity there. Now, and, and they eat, but they have different food for the staff. Everybody eats the same, even her, but not from the menu because it's a gourmet menu. <laughs> from time to time, my son asks for something from the menu, but he pay for it. Okay. Now, lesson objective. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use simple present. Okay. Simple present is when we are talking about uh, the present time. Also, we use a simple present when we talk about routines or things there are facts. For example, if we talk about uh, the sun rises in, uh, at the east, okay, there is a fact. It always happened that way, okay? Now, here we have simple present WH questions and statements. These are not short answers as when we uh, see the yes, no questions, remember? We, with yes, no questions, we have short answers. In this case, since these are WH questions, you have to provide information and could not be short answers. Okay, what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job, okay? Now, uh, let's do it in pairs, okay? Now, Katia and Emma. Katia, you do the question, and Emma do the answer, okay? Okay, teacher. All the questions. No, uh, the, the first. The first? Yes, the ones that I just read. What do you do? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, Emma? I'm a historian and I have a part-time job. Okay, thank you very much. Now, Monica Marisol and Lewis. Where do you work? Okay, Lewis. Um, I work at in a restaurant. Okay, I work at a restaurant or I work in a restaurant, any of them, okay? Ah, uh, um, Could be I at work... or in. Okay. Uh -huh. I work in a restaurant. Okay, now... Uh... Ana Margarita and Jancy. Where did you go to school? I go to the university, University of Texas. Okay, thank you. Now Edwin Vladimir and Katia Elizabeth. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. 
Okay. Jessica Castro and Sara Maria. What does she do? She, she's a guide. She's, she's, she's a guide. People. She's a guide. Guide. She's, she's a guide. She's take people on tours. Okay, thank you. Now, um, Jessica Rosibel and Elizabeth del Carmen. How does she like it? She loves it. Loves it. Okay, now. And uh, let's see. Uh, now, um, if you notice here, we have some verbs in third person singular, like she works, she is, she takes, she loves, okay? Those are in third person singular. Uh, we say that is the third person singular agreement. When we had uh, the S or ES at the end of a verb. In this case, we also have auxiliaries. If you notice, since we are using other, other than be verbs, we need auxiliary. And we have do and does. Do for all the other uh, grammatical persons and does for third person singular, okay? Any doubts about it? Preguntas sobre eso? No, teacher. Okay. And here we have, uh, we use this verse, for example, in I, you, we, and they. We use it uh, like in a simple form or base form, okay? But when we are talking uh, about he, she, or it is third person singular, then the verbs changes, okay? Now, uh, repeat after me, work works. Work works. Take takes. They uh, okay, uh, some verbs only, uh, the, most of the verbs only add S at the end. But there are some other verbs that add ES, like in the case of teach, teach, teaches, okay? And do, does, and go, goes. But in the case of study, which is a Y, we change the Y for I and add ES, okay? We make those changes when the Y is preceded by a consonant. If the Y is preceded by a vowel, we only add S. For example, say, says, uh, stay, stays, okay, only add S. With the 
the letter before the Y is uh, a vowel. In this case, we are not talking about sound. Like the, the last time I talked about sound. In this case, is the letter, okay? Now, then, if you notice here, the present time, the past is things that happened before, and the future things that will, will happen in the future, okay? And we use the simple present tense when we are talking about fact or habitual activity. A present activity for, for stories, and a schedule future activity. We may use, you, you, may, you may use a simple present tense for a schedule future activity. Something that you uh, know that you have to do is like a routine, okay? Now, here we have some of the uses of the simple present. We use the present simple to describe general facts, repeated actions and habits, and facts that are always true. Okay, um, Jessica Castro, read that rule, please. General facts or? Mm -hmm. General facts. Like yes. Them. Now, uh, the, the, the samples. The samples. Mm -hmm. I like milk. I will play basketball. They speak Japanese. And mm -hmm. we live in a... Okay. Now, Katia, Elizabeth, the plural ones. You're mute. So, <laughs> <laughs> mucha tecnología y poco usuario. <laughs> we live in Mexico. Okay. Thank you. Now, uh, Sara Maria. Repeated actions and habits. Sara Maria. No le sirve el, el micrófono. Okay, Natalia Ayala, could you read repeated actions and habits? Okay. Um, Harry often arrives late. Okay. I usually get up at six o'clock. Okay, thank you very much. Now, Carmen Lisset. Uh, Things that are always true. Mm -hmm. mm, the year goes around the sun. Mm -hmm. The sun rises in the east. Okay, thank you very much. Now, uh, the third person verb agreement, okay? Th th these are the rules to turn uh, for the third person singular, the verb for the third person singular in affirmative. We only use this agreement in the verb for affirmative statements in, uh, for the third person singular. Because for negative statements, we use uh, the auxiliary does. And it takes the third person singular. Then we leave the verb in the base form. And the same happened with the questions. When we use the auxiliary for negative and for questions, 
we leave the verb in the base form, okay? Now, uh, the first of the rules, um, J.C. Payan, read it, please. Okay. <clears throat> Most the verb in English for the third person, singular by adding is to the base form. Okay. Things, uh, yes, yes, continue. Thing it requires. Requires. Requires, sorry, okay. sorry. Uh, no, we made the changes for third person singular affirmative sentences, okay? Now, uh, Jessica Rosibel. Jessica? But, okay. Simple present third first number agreement. Uh -huh. Verbs ending in O, S, 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 I, S, X, or C for the third person singular by A, adding E, S. Adding Yes. yes. Guys, what's it? Mrs. Rushes. Mixes. And buzzes. Okay. The, the, these are the some examples uh, for this rule. Okay. Now. Eh, Edwin Vladimir. Unmute yourself, Edwin. No. In Miami, let could you read it, please? Yes. Verb ending in, in a consonant plus Y. Search as right for the third person singular by chain the Y to I and I adding ES. For example, three. Try tries, okay? Thank you. Now, here we have some uh, uh, examples. If you notice, the first ones are affirmative, then negative and interrogative. And we have first person singular, second person singular, third person singular, first, second, and third person plural. Okay, and you can notice the changes from affirmative, negative, and interrogative. Please, uh, when when I give you this uh, today, try to study it well because I I will be also sending you a list of verbs, and we will be working on them. Try to make the changes. Uh, using these rules, okay? Because I am sending the verbs in the base form. You have to make the third person singular, okay? Try to do it. And we are going to make affirmative, negative, and interrogative sentences. We may work Together, for example, I may say, uh, Katia, please make an affirmative sentence with any of the verbs that you have there in your list. Then you will make the affirmative sentences and you may ask someone to change it to negative, but you have to know how to do it. That's why I will, send, I will be sending this to you so you can study it properly how, what are the changes that you have to do? For example, in the affirmative, you have subject, verb, complement. In negative, you have subject, 
the auxiliary, which is do or does, depending on the subject, and then not, and then the verb. In this case, the base form, if you notice here, we have he goes to the stadium, but he said he doesn't go to the stadium here. Go is no longer in third person singular because the third person singular is with the auxiliary, okay? And in the case of the interrogative, you have auxiliary, subject, verb, and complement. And here the same. We have does and the verb is in the base form again, okay? Let's see. Okay, we still have time. Uh, do you want to read these uh, sentences? Yes? yes. Okay. One of you will read it in affirmative and will, when, when you finish the affirmative, you call another classmate to read the negative and then another to read the interrogative. The one that finished with the interrogative call another student that will continue with the other affirmative sentence, okay? Now, Katia, you start. Affirmative, teacher. Yes, the first one. I live in Mexico. Okay, call another student. Um, Natalie, Patricia. Okay. Natalie, you have to read the negative. Okay. I do not live in Mexico. Okay, call another student. Yancy. Mm, okay, Yancy. Okay, do I live in Mexico? Okay, now call another classmate. Sandra no. Sandra. Hello. Hello. Okay, your yes. second one. Your what? Television. Okay, now call for another student. You do not you you do not watch television. Okay, ask another student to call, uh, to read uh, the interrogative. Do you watch television? Okay, thank you very much. She wants to do the three, the three of them. Now, Edwin, please read uh, the third one. Goes to the stadium. Okay, now call for another student. Um, sorry, Jasmine. Who? Sorry, Jasmine. Jasmine. Uh, he does go to the stadium. Okay, now call for another student. Um, Jessica. Okay, Jessica. The interrogative. Okay, thank you very much. Now call for another. Casi no se lo escucho. Está bien lejos. Okay, Carmen. She does not wash the dishes. No, is the, is is the is the is the affirmative. Okay. Uh -huh. She washes the dishes. Okay, now call for another student. Mm. Ana Margarita. Okay, thank you. She does not wash the dishes. 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 Okay, now call for another. Abigail.
No se lo entendió. Abigail. Ah, Abigail. Does she wash the dishes? Okay, thank you. Call for another one. Sé que no ha pasado. <laughs> Now, volunteer. <laughs> Okay. Mi teacher, mi teacher. Okay, go ahead. We get up early. Okay, now uh, who raised the hand? Me. me see. Uh, Elizabeth del Carmen. <clears throat> We do not get up early. Okay, thank you. Now, Natalie. Do we get up early? Thank you, Giselle Canales. You wear jeans. Okay, wear. now uh, Lewis. Um, you do not wear jeans. Okay, now Sofia. Do you wear jeans? Okay, who else? Okay, go ahead. They live in that house. They live in that house. Okay, now another one. They don't live in that house. Excellent. Interrogative, the last one. Do they live in that house? Okay, perfect. Now, uh, we will continue tomorrow. Okay, remember that this, this week we started later, so we will finish tomorrow. But next week we are going from Monday to Thursday and you have Friday free to go and eat pupusas. And remember me when you are eating pupusas. <laughs> I love people. <laughs> I say this photo. Okay. Now take Thank care. You. See you tomorrow. So, o sea, no See you, teacher. Oh, okay. Okay, tomorrow okay. class. Tomorrow class. You cannot came came tomorrow. No, no puede okay. usted mañana. Tenía compromiso. No se preocupe. Okay. Ahí mira el ahí mira el video. Okay. okay. Don't worry okay. because the, the, uh, this was something that we have no cover, okay? Supposedly you have to study from Monday to Thursday, but they suspended classes on Monday. And then we are going to finish tomorrow, uh, the week. But if you cannot come because you have something to do, don't worry, just work on the platform, okay? And uh, watch the, the YouTube video when you can. Okay. okay. Take Thank care. You. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 And any doubts you may ask in WhatsApp. Okay. 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 Bye. 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 Bye.